It seems today that all you see is face mask in the hallways in class on PC. But where's that good old fashioned content from which we used to smile? Luckily, we have the best lines. Lucky there's a way to positively make you forget all your struggles and laugh and cry. At least we're gonna try! Good morning, Gators. Today is Tuesday, May 11th. Welcome back to Gator Nation News. I'm Cody. And I'm Cody. So, Cody, what did you do this weekend? I went to prom. What about you? Yeah, me too. I had so much fun at prom. I, I mean, it was especially fun when I started dancing with the hula dancers. Yeah, I saw that. That was funny. Absolutely. Color Guard is having trials next season on May 14th and from the 17th to the 20th. Trials are after school from 4 to 6. You can get further information by emailing tbrazelton at dickinsonisd.org. We would like to congratulate Haley Creighton, Brianna Goodwin, and Natalie Rodriguez for receiving a Society of Women Engineers Houston Area Certificate of Merit Award. These students will be recognized for their accomplishments at the SWE Student Awards Banquet, who will be hosting a live virtual awards ceremony on Thursday, April 29th at 6.30 p.m. Congratulations again on everything you three accomplished. Two robotics teams from DHS have qualified to compete in the Remote Vex Robotics World Championship from May 16th through the 22nd, and we'd like to honor the participants. From Team H, we'd like to congratulate Hector Arcanega, Haley Creighton, Brianna Goodwin, Natalie Rodriguez, and Jorge Trevino. From Team A, we'd like to congratulate Anderson Sosa, Brandon Munoz, Gavin Smith, Nathan Cortez, Saul Guzman, and Stephen Lee. Congratulations on advancing to the Worlds. Avid and the College and Career Center are hosting Decision Day filming on May 13th for all DHS seniors who have been accepted and are committing to attend a four-year university, two-year university, or have committed to a branch of the United States military. The goal of the event is to highlight where our seniors are going after graduation. Students who wish to participate need to fill out their Google form and their DISD email and post it to Skyward or scan the QR code on screen. In need of a summer job? Well, today's your lucky day. Chick-fil-A at the League City Town Center is currently hiring and they have flexible hours, competitive pay, and are of course closed on Sundays. For more information, please call 281-337-1898. Don't want to serve chicken at Chick-fil-A? The Kima Boardwalk is looking for energetic and enthusiastic employees for the summer. They are currently offering a $250 sign-on bonus that is paid out after 90 days. Apply online or come to the Kima Boardwalk Human Resources Office. They're waiting for you. And now, we'll hand it over to Cody for the weekly weather report. Thanks, Cody. It looks like we're opening the week with some cloudy days and warm highs, varying from the high 70s to the to low 80s, and our lows range from the mid 60s to 70s. As we move into the weekend, where we'll have a 40% chance for thunderstorms, our highs will be in the 80s, and our lows will be in the low 70s. Well, it looks like it's all for this week's weather announcement. Let's talk some back to our Cody's. Thanks, Cody. Our DHS Gator Barbers are available Mondays and Wednesdays in CT 108 across the softball fields from 2.45 to 5 p.m. They offer haircuts, beard trims, edge-ups, and more, so head on down and remember to take a mask. All services are provided by students and supervised by a licensed barber. Cosmetology is also offering hair and nail services on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They offer haircuts, styling, braiding, curling, or flat ironing, and nail services all by appointment only. Ladder Windows and Open Doors is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m., but you must schedule an appointment to attend using the QR code on screen. Walk-ins will not be accepted, so be sure to register now. And as always, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Gator Nation Media and on Twitter at Gator Nation Live for the latest news and live updates. And if you're a staff member with any interesting stories or information you want on Gator Nation News, be sure to send them to our email at gnmedia at dickinsonisd.org. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. We'll end it with Austin's fun facts of the day. Woohoo! Here are five facts to blow your mind. Leonardo DiCaprio got his name when his pregnant mother was looking at a Da Vinci painting in Italy when he first kicked. Hey, you're being too loud. My, no, my apologies, I was just about to leave. The creator of Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, helped to get two falsely accused men out of prison after solving their already closed cases. Now I have to go catch a flight, so I'll see ya. I am here at Kansas State University where in 2010, Mark Haub, professor of nutrients, went on an all junk food diet. He ate Twinkies, Oreos, Doritos, and other junk food for two months 
to teach his students that pure calorie intake is all that matters when going for weight loss. He lost 27 pounds. Now, here's another person who lost a lot of weight as well. Drew Manning is a personal trainer who in 2011 wanted to prove that it was possible to get back into shape even after becoming extremely overweight. To prove it, he gained 32 kilograms or 70 pounds of fat. He successfully got back into shape after only a six month period of time. That's impressive. In 1961, a girl named Michelle Roshan wrote a letter to President Kennedy addressing her concern for Santa's safety during the Soviet nuclear bomb testing near the North Pole. President Kennedy actually wrote back to her telling her that he spoke with Santa and there was nothing to worry about. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.